Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Now, I was really excited for today's episode. I was going to finish off the suburban house, put in a little garden, put in all the windows, and a little path, and start some trees, mate. And then I realized this is episode 200. And 25 and if you've been subscribed or watched this series for any amount of time you'll know that every 25 episodes we do a world tour we do a huge one on the sort of hundreds we do a fairly big one on the 50s and on the 25 we do sort of a nice quick overview and we look at things that we've done recently and some of the older stuff and just a general sort of update so we've got to do that which is even funner so I'm gonna make a rule for this episode though I can't leave the ground this is a city and people that live in a city most of them see the city from this view and we've spent 225 episodes at this view and we fly around and we get our vantage points and stuff from here but no this is what everybody sees this is the angle that we should be uh playing in the city at so to make sure i sort of stick to that we're going to be a fire the fire service today now there aren't actually any fires because i don't want to set fire to anything in the city but what i'll do is i'll turn the uh the sounds off <laughs> because the engines and stuff will just get on our nerves we're going to drive to different areas of the city that way we'll get a nice perspective out of our windscreen Apart from if we look there, it goes all foggy. We won't do that. Um, I might turn the shaders off if it does get annoying. And we're going to go to different points around the map and go and visit them driving down the roads. I think it'll be pretty cool. So, where is there a fire first, guys? Well, I think, I think there's a fire at the stadium. So, let's go down to the stadium. Now, I'm going to try my best. This is going to be like a good sort of workout on how good, one, my driving is. But two, how good our road layout is. And how good my memory of our world is. Because I need to get to the stadium just by using the roads. Now I do have what we'll call the uh, sat-nav, the GPS in the top right hand corner. So I've got a little mini-map there that should be able to help me get to it. Oh, oops, I hit the curb. That's okay, fire service are allowed to hit the curbs, right? <laughs> and we're through and around here. Uh, hey, and uh, oh, we're on the wrong side. I'm on the... No! <laughs> I'm now on the motorway. I need to come off at the first exit, which isn't too far away from here. I should have taken a right-hand turn, shouldn't I? But now what we can do is we can come off the slip road here and then make a right here. I don't know. Maybe this might have been a quicker route anyway. It wouldn't have been the route I would have gone if I was flying. So you go down here. And then we turn right. Look at these. Oh, that's a really cool view. I really, I want to keep that. Hang on. Let's just jump out. When we came down here, that's the factory. And these are these sort of beach houses. These like expensive modern beach houses. I, this, right, there's nothing there. It's just flat sand and then the ocean. But it's really cool. That, you know, I always I used to get excited when I used to go to the beach when I was younger. Oh, a cruise ship is now loading in. But when I was younger, uh, and we're going to the beach, and you could start to sort of smell it when you were sort of getting close, and you'd always arrive on a big hill, and then suddenly in the distance you could see the water, and you're like, ah, oh, there's the sea, there's the sea, there's the beach. That's what that just reminded me of when I'm going down there. I'm gonna keep this area open just like that, like a secret entrance almost to the beach. That's really really cool. Anyway, the uh. The stadium's still burning down, so you better get there. There's also a cow on the track. Bus station. Bus depot. Those buses still look really cool. I really like those. And then we're at the stadium. So, let's go through the uh, the main, the, the, like the player's entrance into the actual uh, the football stadium or soccer stadium there. Oh, what a... That was really cool. See, we don't see this kind of stuff. I know. Oops, I zoomed in. I never sort of see the world from this angle so like coming through you've got the pitch there with this like nice centered entrance and then suddenly Zerno FC and then the commentators box and then the cameras and the lights all come into view wow that's a really like epic feeling when you're coming through there hey really really cool real sense of scale here isn't there the TV cameras up above on the sliders 
the creeper faces just to remind that we're in minecraft for this really really cool so where should we have the next fire um i think there's a i think there's a fire at the cargo port let's head over to the cargo port so do we uh make a u-turn oh there's the uh, expensive cars we'll probably use the uh, the real cars in that now uh, instead of the, the car the, the ones that we actually have you know the new mod that we just installed with the bugattis and ferraris we'll probably put those in there so the cargo port is just a straight road fortunately down here uh we got the call just in time that it's not too far away there's still a car on the track we should really call someone about that too hey you got out of the way for me wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. old factory here the uh, ice cream factory and then into the cargo pool Ooh, break, 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 break. so i can go up i can go up either way but let's go this way just to make things harder for me so it's like a little turnaround zone here the barrier's already up for us. They knew that we were coming. Got some vehicles already down here. We can add some more vehicles to this now. We can add the lorries. Oh, yeah, this one's a dead end, isn't it? This is for the loading. If I uh, if I turn around. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuel as well. Cargo port's got its own mini fuel stop. But, yeah, we've got the big Arctic vehicles that we can drive here as well now. We should really place a couple of those down. Yeah, another one with a... Uh, he's already got a crate on the back you see he's got one of these these uh cargo crates put on the back of his wagon this one hasn't yet he's just got the flatbed his hasn't been put on yet that's really cool hey same over there he's got a gray one and his one his one's empty very very oh i'm in the back oh you can get in the back cool you'd have like loads of people in there a little bit blurry there's the old tugboat let's go and have a look at that as well while we're here keep on the ground no flying up. I can't get into the tugboat. Who is that? Just a random... I must have had like one or two civilians around the entire world that I forgot about. And she's managed to somehow get to there. Yeah, tugboat. Really cool little tugboat. I like that. One of my favourite mini builds. Crane's a really cool little mini build as well. That turned out really, really nicely. Okay, back in. The fire's spreading. We come all the way to around here. He's in the loading zone ready. Little forklifts. And uh, for those of you that haven't spotted yet, and if you're a new subscriber, this is obviously inspired off the cargo Call of Duty map back on, uh, what would it have been? Modern Warfare. The first one, right? Was it the first Modern Warfare? I think it was the first Modern Warfare. Uh, Call of Duty game. So yeah, even got the uh, the building... And I think we can even go inside the building. I think the whole... No, we don't. We can't go inside this one. I did make a cargo replica where you could go inside everything. But yeah, it's just inspired by it. So we've got the 360 degree weird crane thing that I don't think exists in real life. But just looks really cool, which is why we chose it. Now, uh, I think... I think there's a fire at the, uh, the Maze Bank uh, inspired skyscraper. So uh, Maze Bank is off grand theft auto 5 oh there's some real speed on here let's go around this way this time there's yeah grand theft auto 5 inspired bank and uh it looks a little bit like it we don't like to get too close i get a lot of critique from people online uh in the comment section on that episode saying it looks nothing like it it's not meant to look exactly like it it's just inspiration oops here's the uh the crane and the work area that looks really cool it, from this side through the uh through the fat panels need to finish off this area so uh, i think this is it right we're here and there it is even got the helicopter 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 on the uh, on the top there and this cool one i can't fly up so i'm not gonna fly up but you have to take my word for it you can sort of see it staggers up in layers and there's some really cool sort of poking out sections like here that just subtly warp the roundness of the building so when you're looking at it from down below, uh, from up above, sorry, you can see all that. And I think on the side there it has bank written in big red letters. Really, really cool. That's a really cool modern building. I like, that's a really good viewpoint there as well down the end of the street. Unintentional that we put like the middle of the building, the focal point of the building, right in the middle of that road. Really, really cool. Really nice. Very nice accidental viewpoints we've got around the city. 
I hope when we're driving along, guys, you're watching like out of the windows and stuff and, and seeing cool little areas. If you see anything that I miss, like any cool viewpoints, let me know in the comment section because that'd be really cool. Underneath here, I want to do, we need to do an underground car park. We haven't got an underground one. I know we've got the multi-story car park over that way, but we haven't got an underground one and it would be really cool to have. It's a big enough building down here um like just to keep it underneath the floor plan of the building itself it doesn't need to be that big one layer would do underground but two would be great if we could do like a little ramp down to a second underground layer then uh, amazing let's head over to the hospital so that's over the bridge so it's two lanes uh going over it this way and two lanes going over the other way because there's going to be a lot of congestion it's, oops ah, i jumped out this is the main building uh, or the main sort of road from the uh residential area into the main city so it's gonna be a lot of cars so we made it two lanes in and two lanes out i don't, i literally checked both ways before i pulled out then because i drive in real life so there's the there's the fire station with our fire vehicles <laughs> and the hospital's up here hospital is one of i don't remember what episode we built the hospital in maybe you guys can let me know on that uh, but the hospital was one of the earliest buildings we actually built in the city. I think it might have been, I'm guessing, and I total stab in the dark, episode 14 or something? Sounds to sounds right to me. That is actually a hole, I think, for some reason, in the wind turbine. I don't think that's a visual glitch. I think that is actually a, a part missing out of it. I must have, when I was terraforming something, I must have accidentally clicked it with my tools or something to do that. Really cool modern uh hospital and if you guys go back and watch episode if you haven't seen it and you want to sort of find out how we built it uh we used a lot of inspiration for a lot of buildings in the, in the city and to do this one i actually got about five different images off google of hospitals of, of any hospital that i like um i used the hospital nearest to me which is the nnn and uh, i used some random ones that i just like the look of and what i done is I put them into like Photoshop or Paint and just circle parts of the picture that you like. So maybe on one of the pictures it had that. So uh, I circled that part of the picture and on another part, uh, on another photo it had a little glass part like that and I circled that. And on another picture it had this really cool modern L so I circled that. And then I came into Minecraft and I look at the pictures and I build a building using all of the circled parts of the three or four or five images that i chose and you mash them all together and you end up with a hospital that is only made up from the best parts of other hospitals and it ends up looking really cool together really modern really sleek really cool design really simplistic but you know exactly what it is just from looking at it in fact i don't think we'd even need the red cross on it to know that that's a hospital it definitely has that hospital vibe to it. Awesome. While we're here, let's pop to the racetrack because it is one of my favourite parts of the city. Need to finish off these this road here as well. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to uh, loop it round or curve it off through there and make a ton. In fact, that would actually be a great idea. You know how we were saying a few episodes back, it might have been on episode 200 or so, that over that mountain i can't i'm not coming off the ground i'm not going to fly to show you because i can't fly um but basically over the other side of the mountain there uh the submarine is about that way uh, but i wanted to have a military over that side like a military dock or a navy and we'll have some like tanks and there maybe another airstrip possibly uh, a little one for like military planes and stuff to fly from this could be a nice left hand 90 degree turn into a, a private tunnel so we'll have some some barriers and some stops on there and then that goes through to the military area because we can't we don't have a road that's going around the back there so that would be the perfect way place to uh, to go through but i don't think i've ever actually driven into the racetrack before so this might be the actual first time that we've done it so if we uh we turn down here and then we do another left just up here is it no we went wrong this goes into grove street which is obviously off uh, grand theft auto san andreas it's also in grand theft auto 5 but it's not exactly the same 
but yeah so this is like uh this is a bit of a slums area of the map if you're if you're, if you're new the sea so we've got a basketball court and skate park there we've got um these like old school power lines coming through into grove street um i can't remember what the main character's name is oh that's really embarrassing off camera i would know it instantly but yeah we use some sort of old style um sort of uh, uh era correct vehicles you know big suv and a sort of old vehicle a bit rusty bicycles because obviously they're big in grand theft auto uh san andreas but yeah it's a really cool little sort of easter egg i think on the city so i actually went wrong i thought that this went to the racetrack but obviously not we need to go i think this way how do we get into it or do i not can you not hang on let's just drive over there you can't <laughs> that is where the mistake is i did go the right way i just haven't got the road leading to it i need to put a road leading from here and join it up to there that road right there that's an easy one why haven't i done that <laughs> it needs to be done oh my all right let's just bump down the curb here fall down the cliff yeah and this needs to be dressed up this time needs to be dressed up as well that's a really easy tunnel to dress up though because it's tiny look, 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 look. so i think We'll park in the lorry parks. I'm, I think I'm in the block there. Ooh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not pressing anything. Ooh. Um, I am now stuck inside the racetrack. Can I warp over? I can. Excellent. And that way. Forward. Break. Forward. I shouldn't have parked in that area. We should really park over here. We're, we're not a race car. Ooh. You know what? We're going to pick it up. And I'm going to put it down here. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk over to the uh, to the pits. And I'm going to put it down over there. Because I want to have a quick ride round in the racetrack. Because I love riding around in the racetrack. I like racing around in the F1 cars here. We'll place that down there. Boop. There we go. Now, I don't think I've got any... If, uh, any any racing cars in the pits here do i at the moment but they're all color coded so we've got the orange the red the yellow the green the white and the blue pits which correspond to all of these f1 cars f1 cars hey blue orange white green yellow red let's go in the yellow one so yellow pits Oop. we've got the uh, spare wheels we've got the laptop uh, which did have a painting on it, but it must have popped off. We've got toolboxes and the, I don't know, tire replacer or whatever. I don't know what these are. Balancers. All the uh, garage doors work. And then we can jump in. That doesn't really sound like an F1 car. We need to go this way. And keep it nice and low. We have a hole in our tire, as you can see when it comes around again. Boom. and then we're at full speed now we need to be careful we're not at full speed i'm going to do a nice warm up lap get the tires warm do a little bit of this left right jig that they do touch the wall then around this chicane into the tight hairpin a very tight corner to do at speed we can put our foot down a little bit here it's a long winding left underneath the tires good speed area here good for overtaking that was actually quite fast around the sand traps up to the uh the last long left hand 180 degree turn and then you foot down for the straight we're going to do a speed lap here hitting the apex hit the right oh i missed the right apex there we go who clipped a bit too much around here start breaking for this corner because this is a tight one oh nicely done actually break time that perfectly around there speed it up for the long left hand underneath the tires a little bit of braking to get through that chicane we can speed up a little bit through uh, a little bit of it was just a just a touch around the outside you know that might be the quickest lap i've ever done Yo. that's it good 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 apex uh, a little bit run over there start breaking here that's it you gotta start breaking way back there good good rumble strips good rumble strips a bit fast 
bit fast. Got my fingers in a bit of a twist there. Oh, this is definitely faster. And around. Yeah! All right. So we're going around once more, but this time we'll head into the pits as well. So we hear over our earpiece, uh, we've got a, a dodgy front wing. The, it's covering off, it's falling off. We need to come into the pit. So pit, pit, pit. Next lap. Pit, pit, pit. Okay. Uh, start to come around here. We're checking the mirrors, make sure no one's behind us, make sure it's all clear. Last little corner, we've got to keep in very left now to hit the pits. Look at that. And then yellow pit. Ah, I missed it. I didn't realize which one was the yellow one. I don't think everyone cares have a reverse, but fast they do. And then we're back in. Excellent. That was great fun. Absolutely great fun. Uh, where should we go now? Where should we go? Let's pop up. Let's go to the water treatment plant. It's over the other side of the map. Not too much of a difficult road to get there. It is basically a straight road to get there. Um, so a little bit of a tunnel. We'll also have to... Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's not a straight road. We've got to go up the hill. I nearly, I nearly drove to the space center then. Uh, the way that I was thinking that I needed to go. But no, what we need to do is get back onto the road. There we go. Now, we don't go up this one up the mountain, but we take the next right that goes up the mountain. So, it's not this right because this one goes into the residential area. Oh, this uh, this uh, fire truck feels so slow now getting out of the F1 car. It's a lot more controllable. Past the garage on the left here. The big tire spanner sign. All these nice suburban houses. The pub. Favourite spot on the map. Oh, I missed it. I missed the junction. I was too busy. Look, Stop distracting me, guys. I'll tell you what. Can I drive up? Let's drive up here. There we go. Saves me just turning around pointlessly. So no curves here because we're up in the hills. Uh, need to do some um, trees up here like we were saying last episode. Some long grass and stuff to give a little bit of a overgrown driving through this sort of area feel. Now when we get to the top... There should be a, a T-junction somewhere here. Yeah. Now, the one to the right heads to the airport. But this one goes to the water treatment plant for the sea. Weird glitch is going on up here for some reason. Like with blocks missing. I don't really understand that. There's the um, space bar. I've never seen it from down here, actually. Oh, that's better. That's better. Really cool. I like that. What a cool sort of view down into it all. And then that's the um, uh, recycling center as well down there. That's cool from a, uh, from a distance as well. Big shuttle assembly building. I need to put a garage door. Oh, I think I might actually have a garage door. I think we're just out of render distance for the garage door. Let's jump back in. <laughs> and around here. And then we need to go back down again. Be cool to see a big jumbo jet, hey? take off from here and you just see it goes straight over our heads that would be amazing i'm in the back seat that'd be amazing to see sometime a little bit of terraforming needs to be done here there's a holes missing and stuff won't worry too much about it because it'll probably be hidden once we cover it all in trees anyway get out of here grass block and down this one right down to oh hey why did i jump out for right down to almost sea level here so obviously we're purifying the water from the ocean uh, that was like a loading zone at the time but we want to go down this road underneath the big pipes because we planned that out oh it, uh, the ladder hits it but ah, we'll, that's okay I'll take that now we can't park here Ooh, don't fall in see so no no parking zone in the hatchings oh hiccups but yeah, here's our water. So, the ocean. Let's go over this way first. This is our this is our secret technology that we have in our world. So this is the ocean, obviously. Yeah, and uh, we've got a little bit of protection from the ocean. We're a little bit higher up. The ocean comes in, and it falls down into our I don't know sort of sitting zone. I don't know. These big pipes pull the water up. <laughs> And then poop them out, poop the water out into uh, these these tanks. I don't know, distilling tanks, I don't know what they would be called. I need to make up some technology. And that gets sort of 
uh, swished or cleaned there and then it gets taken out and it gets put into this one which has a big revolving these arms revolve around and they catch any debris and particles and stuff that was missed in that one and it goes down that pipe each one of them have a little pipe and then that connects up to whoop. well i need to fly here to get out of here i didn't cheat i promise and that goes up into this pipe and uh spread out into these what is it three i think three of them and goes bloop enter there and uh oh no yeah the old water maybe i don't know some old water that gets put back into the ocean and goes through again and then that's like the runoff as well for the purified water and that's the one that we need let's go around there i'm gonna just break the fire engine so i can place it down over there when i want to get out Blink. pick it up um can i go can i go in here and have another door somewhere no no Okay, I'm not going to cheat, I promise. I didn't cheat, you didn't see nothing. That's the the final one. So it goes it goes in those, and it goes underground, and it joins up to that one. And then that one is the final one, and it cooks it or boils it or something, and then it goes into those, and then, and then we can load it up. That's a flawless explanation on how our water purifying technology works in, uh, in our city. <laughs> Abs absolutely flawless. All right then. Um, whoops. Let's for the last one. Let's head down to the main beachfront, the public beachfront here. I know there's a lot we've missed. We can't do everything um, in a 25 episode world tour. We save everything for the 100s. We look at a lot of stuff on the 20 uh, on the 50s, on the 25s. We're going to do more of a sort of fun flyer or, or fun sort of world tour style like this. So head all the way back down and go to the and the main beachfront that's the university an observatory mashed into one nicely i like this this photo is a good vehicle to actually drive around the city on because the seat position is really good to see out of all the windows and the windows are really big so we don't sort of get um what would it be like inhibited uh, by view why do I keep doing that? My, my little finger keeps hitting shift for some reason. Keep bailing out. There we go, this way. So that tunnel leads... A pig in the road? That tunnel leads to the space centre and recycling plant. I, I ran over the pig. It's fine. No, he'll, he'll, he'll live. I'll get him to the vets. Alright, and then we're in the sort of... The, uh, the life of the city, really. The nightlife. So we've got KFC out here. We've got a restaurant, bamboo style restaurant there. We've got the police station. Some police officers are out front there. We've got the petrol station, or the fuel station. And the supermarket, the mine mart. We should have a car wash out the back here as well. Ooh, and uh, no, I didn't get through. I managed to get through. Oops, I've gone the wrong way because of that. Yeah, Mr. Fuel, don't blow up. Yep, a uh, multi-story car park. And then this is the main beat, just behind a nice sea barrier wall here. The Pig's Restaurant there. We've got the arcade that was built relatively recently. And uh, the main hotel for the city. We'll park in the hotel car park, I think. Yeah, that's the main hotel for the city. Nice big foyer there. If I don't mind me saying, that is like the one of the best parking jobs I have ever done. We're bang between the lines. We're not exactly straight, but we're bang between the lines. And we're not touching the edge. Wow. What a win. So, if we're like a nice little pedestrian, we can walk up this path here. And uh, there should be an opening somewhere here on the right. That's the cinema. As well, you always got to have a cinema on the beachfront. So, yeah, we open up here. And boom, here's the actual beach. So we've got lifeguard towers. Someone's private island over there with his own sailboat and uh, big, uh, what they call infinity swimming pools and stuff like that. That was his own little series, you know. Speedboat, we could, in fact, we might finish off with that. Lifeguard helicopter ready there on the beach. We've got some, some beach mats and some sun lounges around the whole place. Really cool. That wraps all the way around to where earlier on in the episode we had that um 
cool viewpoint that I was talking about before the cruise ship loaded in. I'll tell you what. We'll jump in the boat. Can I stand on this? Nope. Now it's got a really military HUD on this one. Can I turn that off? I can turn that off. Good. Yum, blah, 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 blah. So we'll, we'll park up here. Oh, go on. Oh, what a park. I'm getting better at driving these every day. Now. Oh, you can stand on this part. Huh. Yeah, we got out. It crashed, but we got out. Excellent. We'll finish up on our private island, hey? Real cool. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. Try to do something different today. And uh, I think it worked out. I really enjoyed doing it and sort of staying stuck on the ground. Got to see the world from a completely different perspective. Uh, yeah. See you guys in the next one. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Bye.